All right, so I'm going to be talking about machine learning teams. And so I'm just curious to get a sense of like, um, how many of you like, currently work on a team that's doing mostly machine learning? OK, the vast majority of people. That's really cool. Um, and then how many kind of work in like, a machine learning supporting role for a team that does mostly not machine learning stuff? A few people. Um, and then for those of you that are sort of working on machine learning teams, um, how many of you are like team lead or some sort of manager for that team? OK, a decent chunk. Um, a lot of this lecture is going to be looking at machine learning teams with that lens. Um, so with the lens of how do machine learning teams fit into the broader organization? Um, how does managing machine learning teams differ from managing regular, uh, you know, normal engineering teams? And um, how can you make you know, this really challenging process of managing machine learning teams work well? Um, and so for those of you who are managers, I think this will all be super relevant. For those of you who are not, I think it will still be relevant because um, you need to know this stuff in order to do your job well. Um, and uh, we'll also, I'll also talk a little bit about um, how to think about getting a job in machine learning, hiring, preparing for interviews, and things like that toward the end. So um, hopefully you can stay tuned for that as well. But so I think you know, kind of the core observation that we start off this lecture with is you know, it's, running machine learning teams is really hard, right? So you know, part of this is just that running any technical team is hard because there's a lot of challenging activities that you need to do. So you need to you know, figure out how to hire great people. You need to you know, make sure that those people are being managed well and that you're developing them and supporting their goals. You need to manage your team's output and make sure that, um, you know, I think um, one thing that Elon Musk says is that um, you know, the, the, your team's output is sort of the vector sum of all of the, the outputs of the individuals on your team. And so what that means is it's not just magnitude that's important, right? So if people are doing a lot of work, but it, that work is not all pointing in the same direction, then your team actually doesn't get anything done. Um, and so making sure those vectors are aligned is really important. Um, making good term, long-term technical choices and managing technical debt um, is also really challenging. And then you know, always, you know, when you're leading a team, uh, managing down is important, but probably equally important is managing up. And so all these things make running any technical team hard. But ML adds complexity to every one of these steps. right? So in hiring, um, machine learning talent is right now, um, in 2019, really expensive and quite scarce. Right? So it's very hard to find good machine learning people. Um, machine learning teams, you know, I think we've gotten to the point in software engineering where a lot of software engineering teams, um, skill set wise, can look relatively um, homogenous because software engineering is a pretty well-defined skill set at this point. But machine learning teams are doing so many things that they require a diverse set of roles. And so that can make it even harder to manage those teams. Um, you know, managing machine learning projects is um, oftentimes more challenging than managing engineering projects because projects themselves have unclear timelines and a lot of uncertainty around them, right? So, you know, we've, we've touched on this a couple of times, but you don't really know in advance what's going to work and what's not going to work. And so that makes managing your output even harder. Um, making good long-term technical choices is especially hard because the field is moving so fast that you don't really know that the model you're using now is going to be relevant in a few years. And um, as, as Sergey touched on, you know, machine learning is the high interest credit card of technical debt. So technical debt is an even bigger problem for machine learning teams. And then finally, in terms of managing up, and I've had conversations with many of you about this already so far today, but you know, leadership in your organization may or may not actually have a good understanding of AI and uh, how these projects are different from the rest of the projects that they're used to, um, to overseeing. And so you know, that lack of understanding can be especially chal challenging as well. And so the goal of this, of this lecture is to try to give you some insight into how to think about building and managing ML teams. Um, I don't have the answers to all those questions because it's genuinely hard, but hopefully this will give you some ideas to think about. And then um, at the end of the lecture, I want to talk about you know, if you're looking for a job or you're thinking about changing roles or moving more into machine learning at some point, um, then how should you get a job in machine learning? And so to talk through what I'll cover, um, first I'll talk about, you know, I want to give you a landscape of the different roles that exist on machine learning teams and the kind of the skills that they require. And then I'm going to talk about how those roles sort of build up into a team and how that team fits into the, um, into the larger organization of your company. And then I'll talk a little bit about how to think about managing a machine learning team. And then finally, um, I'll talk about hiring. 
So how to hire machine learning engineers and how to get hired, if that's one of your goals.